SAVE is a multimedia, computerized vocational education and training program that enables universal access to education and employment. In two years, SAVE conducted four successful independent studies. A full computerized fabric painting course for women with rudimentary literacy skills who used computers for the first time in the rural district of Idiki, Kerala. A module of an apprentice level plumbing course to a tribal community. And a full MES assistant plumbing course for women at Amrita University, where seven women from the coastal area, many of them survivors of the 2004 tsunami, registered for the course. Even though they have different backgrounds and stories, all of the participants have one thing in common, a desire for a better life for themselves and their families. These women have never sat in front of a computer, which is not a problem, as the user interface has been specifically designed for participants with no prior experience in computers. They enthusiastically explored the world of plumbing through high-quality, easy-to-follow video lectures. The students mastered concepts such as drainage and water flow with the help of interactive 2D and 3D exercises and learning scenarios. They familiarized and perfected their skills with tools and materials in haptic workshops that simulate hands-on learning and transferred their newfound knowledge into real-world situations with ease. A distinguishing factor of the SAVE solution is Amachi Lab's focus on development of haptic software and cost-effective haptics hardware to provide immersive, guided learning for skill development. The skills of master craftsmen are immortalized in a haptics learning management system that provides expert training in mastering physical skills. Students gain experience of working on expensive and potentially dangerous equipment without risking personal injury or damage. I've been here for the last two weeks working with the um, Amachi Laboratory on the SAVE project. Uh, developing some concepts for teaching people basic vocational skills. And so the, the question comes up, how might we continue the cooperation or collaboration between my work at Stanford University and the group here? Um, and to me it's a pretty obvious good match. We, we've done a lot of sort of high-tech exploration of the possibilities in this field of virtual reality simulation for training manual skills. Um, and the group here has begun to use those technologies and has a really deep understanding of what needs to be taught to people who have no skill. However, learning does not stop at mastering a skill or a vocation. What's critical is nurturing the ability to utilize the learned skill so as to benefit themselves, their families, and the community at large. To ensure total empowerment, Amachi Labs is involved with novel ways of imparting and measuring life skills. The women successfully completed their training and were awarded certificates at the International Conference on Technology Enhanced Education by Sri Dilip Chenoy, CEO of NSDC. Through all of these initiatives, Amachi Labs strives to be a part of the solution to where location, illiteracy, gender, and poverty are no longer an obstacle to standard education for a better life. <laughs>